So persimmon trees are either male or female, and that really has to do with the kinds of flowers they produce. So their flowers are imperfect, meaning that they're either male or female. So what I've got here is this one right here. This is a female flower. Now the petals have dropped off, so what you've got right here is the stigma and the style, and this will become the fruit. So here's another one. This one, is still this one is has still got the petals on it so you can see those little dots there in the center right there those are the stigmas and behind it that's the ovary so you've got petals four petals and an ovary so that's a female then over here I've got a male so if we look at the male, you notice the middle of the flower is very different. Um, basically what those little pointy things are, those are the stamens. They're the ones that produce the pollen. So most trees, most persimmon trees, you have to get some of that pollen onto the female, onto the stigma for it to be pollinated. Now there are some varieties that are actually self-pollinated or possibly, or parthenocarpic, so they produce fruits anyway. So this is a male. So how do you tell, if you find a wild persimmon, how do you tell if yours is male or female? So females are the only ones that produce fruit. So if you have a persimmon tree that you find that produces those nice orange berries, you say, well, that individual is definitely a female. If it doesn't, um, it could be a female with nothing around it, but it could also be male. So I've got this one over here. This one has stopped blooming, but, you can still tell it's male because it's got these little spiky things right here. Basically what these are, these are little twigs that had the male flowers attached. And the male flowers drop off pretty quickly and they're usually in larger clusters. Versus the female flowers over here, you get an individual flower here, you get another one over here. You get one there, one there, one there, one there. Versus these males, there was originally a cluster of three right there, and they dropped off. And they drop off relatively early. And when they drop off, um, they look like this. So they fall off pretty easily. And again, they all have, they're a little bit smaller, and they have those stamens in the center.